Hello and welcome back on the workbench. Today we're taking a look at the Toro Ultra Leaf Blower Vacuum Mulcher. They're calling this basically a three-in-one tool. I would argue it's probably a two-in-one tool. Uh, supposedly it's a number one rated tool. I don't know what that means specifically, um, but this advertises 260 miles an hour of airspeed with 340 cubic feet per minute and 405 cubic feet per minute on the vacuum side. Personally, I bought this for the leaf vacuum shredding mulching for my leaf disposal purposes because my previous one, which was this one right here, decided to emit a puff of smoke and the impeller in the bottom decided to become loose and separate it and is uh, not safe to use anymore. So this old one here, I was very satisfied with here. This is an old Craftsman one. I actually made a video about this not that long ago about replacing the bag. The metal impeller on this I thought worked fantastic for shredding leaves. Hopefully you can see the metal impeller there. And so I wanted to make sure I got a replacement that had a metal impeller. Much to my surprise, some of the leaf vacuums out there use a plastic or a nylon impeller. And I wanted metal because I felt like I've had good success in the past. So what do you get with this kit? One of the disappointments on the box here doesn't actually show you a picture of everything that you get. So we've got a bag. We've got a blower tube. And then contained inside of that, if I flip it the other way, is the tip. We have a vacuum tube, the lower part of the vacuum tube, we've got the guard that would protect the impeller input for the vacuum, and then we have the heart of the tool all bagged up. And then we also have a set of instructions. So one of the first things on this tool is there's a knob on here, which I believe is an air control knob. Comes with a sticker across here. It says install bottom guard and remove this decal. So what they're referring to is the guard to protect this metal impeller. Because what you don't want to do is use this as a leaf blower with this end and then get your fingers caught in this impeller and then have it hurt your fingers. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised that Toro doesn't make this guard somehow a part of it. The other one that I had, uh, this could not actually become separated from it. It was just part of it so that you didn't have to worry about that specific issue. So there was this nozzle that we pulled out of the tube. If we pull this apart, it actually comes into two parts. Uh, and this is to concentrate the air. This is gonna reduce the CFM it's able to produce but it'll be able to create a tighter pattern. To use this, you actually drop this into the blower tube like this, rather than trying to attach it onto the end to clip it, which I think is kind of an interesting concept. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. And I suppose for storage, you could take the other, the smaller one with the tighter pattern and drop that right in to store it. If you're gonna use the blower, we're gonna go down here to the end And then we've got our connection like this. But that connection with the nozzle is gonna be secured by this guard. So we'll take the guard over here like this, pull that down, drop that back. So then the impeller guard also is what secures on this blower. And then to release on the back, there is a push button we can press down to release the guard, remove that, and our blow or, and the blower nozzle comes off. And now for the vacuum part, this is a two-part vacuum tube that will have to be connected together. And if you look, and you can see here, there's a little push button there, and then this is keyed to be able to line up for this to be able to attach together.
There we go. Press that in, that should be a one-time operation. And now we've got our vacuum tube. And then this will simply go over here. So we'll connect this in like this. Snap it over. And there we go. This bag comes with a nice little push button attachment here to be able to lock this into place. And then we've got a shoulder strap here to be able to throw this over your shoulder. It's not a very padded strap, it's just a very, very basic strap. Uh, with It does have a length adjustment and that is thankfully metal. I was worried that was gonna be a cheaper plastic. And then there's a zipper across the bottom. There we go. Uh, that you can unzip to dump out your leaf clippings. So it looks like that zipper is actually across the bottom. Kind of surprised it's not across the back, but like my previous one was, but my previous one was obviously not a Toro. So then with the vacuum tube on, all we have to do, take the bag, come across like that, and there we go. Our bag is in place. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the safety sticker here. Set that aside. And now the tool is ready for use. There is a plug on the rear. This does not have a grounding on it. This is just a two prong. It is polarized on the plug to be able to connect to an extension cord. So now when it comes to actually using this tool, one of the things that you'll notice that is not present is an actual push button switch, you know, for a thumb switch or a, or a push button switch somewhere else. All that controls can be done right here at this knob. You can turn it off or turn it all the way up for being able to activate or deactivate the tool. Uh, kind of different if you ask me in terms of the style. I really liked my old one, but I couldn't find anything comparable to it uh, in the store that I could get. And so this is what I got and hopefully this will work. And uh, yeah, let's go put this to use and try to get some leaves picked up and we'll see how well this works. And then I'll give you a few thoughts. And so that's what the suction looks like on this thing. It can pick up that mat, which is quite impressive to me. None of the other leaf vacuums I've had in the past have been able to completely suck up something like that or handle the wet leaves nearly as well as this tool can. Now that you've seen this in use a little bit, I've used this quite a bit, and let's wrap up this video with a few thoughts. First of all, my thoughts are exclusively tied to this as a leaf shredder vacuum and not necessarily as a blower. I did not buy this really to use as a blower. So as a vacuum, I've got to say, this thing really, really sucks in the best way possible. Uh, as you saw previously, this thing was able to actually suck up a entry mat, which I've got to say was amazing. And I never once had to clear any clogs when I have some moist leaves coming up this tube. With past leaf suckers that have been less powerful, I've had to sometimes get a stick and kind of and disconnect the power, turn it off to be able to clear a jam in the vacuum tube. Not the case, and I was able to pick up some leaves a lot more moist than I'm used to picking up, and I would previously have thought were a no-go until they had dried out. And so that was amazing. Uh, the bag, uh, in terms of its size, I wasn't sure about the size, but it worked out that two of these bags work full equals one standard, assuming there's a standard, I think there's a standard, uh, yard waste bag. And so I thought that was actually pretty nifty that there, I wasn't having to worry about split Oh, well, I can get two in, then I've got to split the third bag in half between two other bags. Nope, one, two, switch bags and go on. And that was very, very well thought out in terms of what size to make the bag. Admittedly, it did get a little heavy. And one of the times I had the bag completely full, I wish I would have had this on camera. It actually blew the end of the bag off because the volume of air coming out had no way to get out the bag. That's why this bag has to be like a cloth and breathable so that the 
output air has some place to go because it's sucking air up the tube through the impeller, shredding the leaves, and then blowing everything back out this exhaust port into the bag. So it has to exhaust the air out through the mesh of the bag. And when it's completely saturated with leaves, it actually just blew off into the bag, which I thought was the novel way to stop. I'm not sure it's preferable and I, don't, I would not recommend relying on that method. Instead, you gotta use the rotary dial up here on the top to turn it off or on. Uh, so when it comes to turning it off or on, a little bit awkward and I think it took a little getting used to to have to turn the knob to switch it off or on. But otherwise, I thought it worked really well. And I'm really glad that I upgraded to this because this thing is just a lot better quality despite a few small features and idiosyncrasies that I'm not sure I like. But in terms of doing what it does, it does it really, really well. So I'm really excited about this to be able to have for the coming years ahead uh, for dealing with fall and spring uh, leaf cleanup. The one other little caveat I will say with this is because I could pick up leaves that were rather moist, uh, make sure that if you do have a wet bag, that you let that dry out and you don't leave that in some place dark and damp that it's gonna create or collect mold. I could easily see that turning into a problem if you're not careful. Two other small details related to this, because of how well the vacuum works, if your backyard or front yard or wherever you're working has toys for small children, it would be highly advisable to make sure you've got as many of those toys out and away from the leaf area, because I could easily see where this would suck up a small toy into here and destroy it before you even realize that you had it. You would hear it go crunch, crunch, crunch in the impeller. So I would advise you to be aware of the toys in a yard with small children. Uh, something else to be aware of is if you've got landscaping or mulch or something else. One of the things I was kind of pleasantly surprised about that I did like about this variable speed dial is I could dial it back to make sure I wasn't picking up mulch or small rocks uh, in decorative beds. And so I could adjust just how much suction power this vacuum was pulling with the knob, which was a feature I hadn't really given much thought to, but because of how strong the vacuum was on this, I actually found that to, that to be quite useful and something I was able to take advantage of with the knob. And finally, the other bit of piece to go with this is obviously you gotta use this with an extension cord. It doesn't come with one, it comes with just like a couple inch long stub. Uh, this is a 12 amp motor, so make sure an extension cord that you, that you use with this is rated to handle 12 amps. If you get some of these longer extension cords, uh, it's not impossible that you could exceed the amperage capacity. And I'd recommend making sure you've got a few extra amps to spare on that cord, uh, which might mean you need to spend a couple extra bucks to get a higher quality extension cord, which is something, in my opinion, will pay dividends long into the future for having an extra heavy duty extension cord, even though they can be a little extra pricey. So for about 90 bucks, is this tool worth it? Yes. You can set, uh, cut down on the number of bags that you, of lawn and leaf bags that you need, shred it, condense it, get rid of it. This works awesome. This is probably the best 90 bucks I think I've spent in quite a while. Uh, I wasn't expecting to have to buy this tool, but now that I've got it, I'm definitely excited to have it. And so I'll put a link, I'll see if I can find a link or two I can put down below to the, uh, where you can find this tool. I was able to pick this up at Tractor Supply. Uh, I believe Home Depot also sells this and a few other stores. And I'll see if I can put a couple links down below where you can find this if you're interested in that. And so with that, that's your look at this Toro leaf blower vacuum. Questions or comments, put it down below. If you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button. It's right down about there. It doesn't cost you anything and really helps me out. And with that, thanks for watching. And as always, have a great day. Bye.